Hey everybody, welcome back to the Kel and Rich Show. My name is Kel, and this is my wonderful husband, Rich. Thanks so much, Kel. It is officially, officially, Kel, you don't know this. I don't know. I'm excited, but I don't know. It is Prague Monday. We officially have oh. our first day of playing oh. tunes. Yeah, we've had birthdays and stuff. Your birthday, my birthday, other people's birthday. Right. But Mondays are going to be prog day. It'll be I prog love metal. Prog metal. I love prog rock. prog rock. Okay. And tonight's going to be prog rock. Okay. Okay. No metal. No okay. metal. All right. And uh, just so everybody knows, this is going to be a band that has been requested from the very, very beginning since people identified us as proggers or anything close, uh, lovers of Pink Floyd and that genre. So this is a band called Airbag. And just before we do that, just a couple of housekeeping things, okay? If you're going to make comments and they're going to be negative, okay, do it respectfully. If not, you're going to be blocked. We're not going to charge it up. We're just going to block you, okay? So disagree, have discourse, but we're taking on kind of the whole cyberbullying thing and we're just not going to deal with it anymore. So you just delete, you're hidden from the channel, that's it. Just know that that's going to happen. And if you want to contact us by email, if you want to know about Kel's book that she's writing, it's a book on temporal mandibular joint disorders, which affects one in every four people on a planet. Yeah. That's two billion people. Yeah. And the people that that affects, okay, that's, that's the misalignment of the jaw, it's pain yes. in the jaw. Kel can go on and on about that. That's why I wrote a book. That's right. So she helped Which, four people today. She taught uh, three, three of five. Three of oh, three, three of five people. So anyway, email her Kelly yeah. Gafter. If you have at gmail.com. Okay? If you have TMJ, email me. Let's have a little discussion. Yeah, because, she's. Because um, we've come to the decision that um, if you're on our channel and you have TMJ or somebody that you know is ha has TMJ, I'm happy to help you with that. And it's not about money. I don't, we don't want your money. We want you to feel better. And I can help. So for those of you that don't live anywhere near us, Skype, Facebook, any number, any of, number, of, any of, number of ways to, con platforms. to contact Kel. And she'll, what she'll do is she'll have partition enough time that it's not overwhelming for her, but still gets the, gets the job done, okay? So, yeah, so Kelly Gafter, K-E-L-L-I, yeah. Gafter, at gmail.com. That, that's the way to get in touch with Kel directly, okay? And I think that's really the only housekeeping we really have, unless you want to say something. To all the translators, again, thank you, yes. We'll get back to all of you. So I'm processing through all my emails. We were away traveling. Yeah, you're just going to get an update. Yeah. Right Thanks to the music, so Kel. So this is Homesick okay. Parts 1 through 3. Okay, and I want to actually, for everybody out there that doesn't know Air, uh, Airbag, I'm so glad that you clicked on this. Okay, the name of the band is Airbag. So influenced by Pink Floyd. The, the, in fact, they were high school kids. That's the name of the, ba uh, the band. Right, but I'm just trying to... Airbag. Like... Um, or... They were high school kids together, and they went to see Pink Floyd uh, on tour for the, in support of the Division Bell in 1994. They were so taken by it that they moved in that direction, and they uh, were all members of the Pink Floyd experience. They're a Norway band. I want to read a little bit about this before okay, we get on to great. it. this is great. Yep. So Airbag's music is perhaps best described as scenic epic rock, or as legendary classic rock magazine said, reminiscent of a late-night, laid-back Pink Floyd. Airbag's three hugely successful album releases, Identity in 2009, All Right Removed 2011, that's what this one's from, okay. and The Greatest Show on Earth 2013 has gained the band a solid following reputation among both fans and the press. After having played in different projects together, Airbag was formed in 2004 by five classmates from Oslo, Norway. We love bands and people from Norway. The band first recorded their EP, Come On, in the same year. Uh, there's more detail about that. You can read that. Or you can geek out in the comments if you know Airbag. Um, I love it when you say geek out. You know, it's what I it is. It. It's, it's being so really intelligent. You don't have to have glasses on. <laughs> Airbag's debut album. 
featured remix versions, uh, most of the songs from the Sounds That I Hear and Safe Tree EPs, uh, Exceeded Expectations, uh, the second release, that's where this one's from, from home, uh, where Homesick is from, and it's a 17-minute song. Uh, okay. All Rights Removed, 2011, they moved more in the conceptual direction with long epic pieces and dramatic instrumentation. The album comprises six thematic songs, including this one, 17-minute live favorite. We're going to do the studio because I wanted Kel to hear this first, and I want to hear it first. And I felt that maybe watching a performance might be distracting. For, for now. I don't have issues with that. For now, and I want so. the sound to be the way that they wanted it to be, and yeah. live is, is good, and it can be really good, but let's, let's just do the sure. studio first. Sure. Um, and the uh, band members... Bjorn Reese, again, I'm not going to pr pronounce these names right, guitar and vocals, he's the main guy. Uh, Asle Tovstrup is lead vocals. Uh, Henrik yeah. Fossum is drums, and Anders uh, Hovden is bass. So there you go, that's Airbag. Good job. Check it out, okay? 2016 um, release is, I believe, Disconnected. Um, my, my internet is not on, so yeah, th that's oh. the 2016 uh fourth studio album okay let's go let's go so let's we'll go. do shout outs at the end i guess well there was only jim uh oh, okay. on our channel uh hang on one sec i actually want to read this thanks kel yeah this is jim 54 from chicago hi jim and yeah they're a great progressive rock band from norway they're very melodic and are compared to being a crossover between pink floyd and porcupine tree which are two of my favorites it is almost an 18 minute song but very much worth it all right, let's do this. Let's share the screen. Okay. Well, thank you so thanks, much. Thanks for whoops, being with us for the intro. Yes. There we go. All right, this will be an accompanying video. So, Kel, you may or may not oh. want to watch it because okay. as we have found out. It's a little distracting. A little distracting. Stay and we'll watch see. the whole video. Don't comment unless you watch the whole video because something crazy might happen at the end or, or there might be an extra song. Who knows the way it goes between us okay yeah we don't we're gonna talk anything. after yeah we just have a structure that we kind of follow but we leave the rest whatever happens, to chance. happens. all right let's do this goodness all right here we go my first listen looks a little scary in there Funny how my life just falls apart. Wow, that's a lot like Stephen Wilson from Border Country. I slept through days and nights. Wow. Different, but I love like it. perfect friends. But it eyes. came crashing through the walls of lies and silence. In my hair, it's time to go before we came. And I know that we can't stay the same. This is a fan video, so don't.
gorgeous. others over the months that have suggested airbag thank you very very much thank you. Yeah. iq bands oh, just yeah. neo prog bands yeah. Yeah. this music is so great Marillion. there's so many great artists out there we have to choose from these guys are really good wow. another slam dunk about the world premiere tomorrow. Right is smiling down on you guys. He is. Wow. Big time. This is amazing. If you're, if you're listening and you're out there, you're big. I'm so late to your show. You're amazing. But I'm so glad I got here. Very cool video. Good job. Uh, sweet spot. Totally.
Crazy Diamond esque, plus a little bit of Saucer Full of Secrets album sound with the. Oh man. Oh man. The clocks, backwards winding. instant favorite.
I'll go first. <laughs> so, for those of you who know the story, great. And for those of you who don't, I grew up in a very controlling environment. I have endured a lot of abuse physically, emotionally, and mentally. And um, as a little kid growing up, I was never homesick. So I was always trying to get away. Either on sports trips or music or how many music lessons a week and classes on the weekend and sporting activities. I never, never stood still and I was never at home as soon as I could start choosing. And so I never ever felt homesick. But I think that's what it would feel like. And then it occurred to me that I've never felt homesick. And then I realized that I have that with you. Missing home here. No, home is you. So wherever he, he is, that's where home is. It doesn't matter it's if beautiful. it's here. And that how blessed I am to have you in my life as my champion. And that you an were honor. you were worth every every moment. Because I was getting ready to meet you. It's forty years. That it you took had four it. decades. Horrible, horrible things. Yeah. She endured. What did you tell me tonight before about your feathers? Well, people would always tell me that angels are the people that have passed away in heaven, wandering around to help us. And I don't believe that at all, and I never have, because I met so many big walking angels in real life that helped me along the way and helped guide me when I didn't have any guidance because I knew that the place that I was in was not my home. And... I never believe that angels are dead. I believe that angels are all of us. And that I earned my feathers, every single one of them, and they're not white, they're gold and silver and full of sparkles. And that I have great work to do for the earth and for humankind. Why were you selected? I think we're all selected. I don't think it was me, it's all of us. It's just that people can't realize it or get trapped or it's too much they can't endure. We're all, all born beautiful inside and out. So what makes you such a good angel? What you said to me earlier. Do you remember? Which part I said a lot to you. <laughs> you did. About because enduring. I had to endure and I had to suffer so that I would know what that's like so that when I was ready I'd be able to help the world and that every assault and every insult and every harsh word and every time I was struck or kicked or bit or punched tied to a chair and snakes thrown on me under the deck of a house whatever it was all worth it and that we are all given what we're given because our greater purpose is to be fulfilled. I believe, you don't have to agree with me, this is just about me, but I believe that everyone is good and great and wonderful. And I see more examples on this channel of that every single minute, minute comments come in by the second. Beautiful. We are reading all of your beauty, all of you. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us. Having the courage to share what you do about the first time you heard a special song, The Outlaws, yeah. Green Grass and High Tides. Wonderful comments, you guys. Yeah. And thank you for watching the entire video. It's over an hour long. Someone said, the video length is perfect every time you do it. Oh my Aww, God. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. We're still feeling self-conscious about... <clears throat> we hear all kinds of things. We, we read all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And the advice on not 
charging up the trolls. And, yeah, that's great. I stand for against cyberbullying. That's one of the, my stances. I'm not going to let that fly as much as I can. But um, Especially given who he lives with. It's um, And countless others that have messaged us and told us your stories and the people we already know in our own spheres out there walking around in Canada and, and here. It's everywhere. Patience is a fleeting commodity, it seems mm -hmm. like, for a number of people. But when you said that you never, for 40 years, never experienced being homesick. In fact, you were wanting the opposite of that. Opposite. That really hit me. I understood why you were, why you're having the reaction that you did while you were crying. I mean, you were, I haven't, that's, that was, that was some real, I've that was never, some real emotion. I've never acknowledged the sadness or despair yeah. that I felt for that yeah. all growing it's up. It's getting easier. I wanted to come home, but I n never had one. It was a place I slept, a place yeah. I ate. Place I had to report. And then you got out of there as soon as you. Seventeen years old. Could, realistically, without um, being on the street and. Yes, I needed a plan. The plan was graduate. She's a thinker. College. She's a thinker, y'all. So. Wow. That's what that was, and I hesitated nice. to. To say something, to all of you. Because it's. A, it's a big thing to say. I think a lot of them out there can relate. <clears throat> Probably more than we think. And I also told you to not take pity on me because I am tough, tough, tough. I'm the one you want to go to war with because I am not afraid. And that's the gift that comes with the past. I am not... How am I... When it comes time? Oh, yeah, duck. In, 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 a, in a good <clears throat> way. But there's something that you said earlier that I'm going to repeat. Uh, sorry, something that I said in response to what you said. And again, this was not planned. She didn't know the song, I nothing. nothing. I didn't even know there was going to be a connection to this. I'm still just reeling well, from the that. The title, as soon as I read it, it didn't hit me. Until I started to tear up, and then I didn't know why. Yeah. And then it hit me like a train. Yeah. Your closest family members were the type of people from your account, and I witnessed this, they would put her in a car accident to teach her that car accidents hurt. Yeah, you did say that. They're the type of people that would throw her to the wolves to teach her that wolves are dangerous. Can you imagine countless examples of that across the world being yes, being done to people world, that have the ability to make different the choices? World. It's I am not the first, I am not gonna be the last, I am not the only one. Yeah. It's so, startling how common it is. Yeah. And Kel, just give me a second. There's not many, from what I remember, there were not many lyrics in the song, but I do want to read them. And it's, yeah, it's so very short. What it's that very was short. about. Yes. And I realize part of it, too, is you're all part of my home, too. I realized when you were away in Canada visiting and going to Jared's memorial and his tribute concert, I wasn't as active on the channel because I was working more and I missed sitting here in front of the camera talking to all of you and I realized that that's where home is too now. Nice. And that nice. you're all a part of my growth in so many ways and I just, I am so thankful and I, I wish I could get to know every one of you and thank you all in person and I don't know how to make that happen. I need bigger <laughs> jets. <laughs> that's what I need. <laughs> Hear the lyrics, and it's only 10 lines. And I'm not sure if there's, I, I checked a couple of sites to see if there are actual grammatical errors. I'm just gonna read it as it is on genius.com. It's funny how my life just fall apart. I slept through days and nights like a perfect prince. Princess. 
Then it come crashing through the walls of lies and silence in my head. It's time to go before we came. And I know that we can't stay the same. Imagine that all you know are what you were told to care about. Imagine that all you know are what you were told to care about. Now, after all this time, you find your faith is fading, but it's time to go before we came, and it only takes a second to turn yourself. That's the line that I heard, and it was like, whoa. I heard all of them. Did you? Yes. I was listening to the more to the music, and I figured I'd fill in the lyrics later because I have a hard time getting the lyrics the first time. But uh, Norway, you guys, what you're pumping out the last couple of decades in terms of talent for music and artist, artists and artistry. It's amazing. And, you know, this is not an A-list band this ter as far as I can tell, and I think they should be. I think that is the closest thing to Floyd I have ever heard. I was out massaging someone tonight. But different. And he says to me, I love classical piano. I say, oh, yes, it's wonderful, isn't it? And he says, yes, it is. Moonlight Sonata comes on, which is one of my absolute favorites to play. And I realized I had zero emotion for the song. What I remembered about the song was how much work it took me to get to be able to play it properly. And that it didn't actually <sighs> produce any emotion. Came out Sonatina in C for Elise. Um, you, there was about 20 songs and I have played them all. All of them. And it just reminded me of how much work it was and how thankful I am that I got the work because it's made me now to be in this position to grow that was like I was digging the pot and putting the soil in, and then all of you have come along and sprinkled all your little musical seeds, and now you're watering me. And it's beautiful. I've never been taken care of so well by so many wonderful, wonderful people. Thanks, baby. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Got to show the turtle again. This is a gift from Half-Life Sister and Wolf Half -Life King. Half-Life Sister and Wolf King. It says, live. It's a little turtle. It says, laugh out loud. And it's a beautiful pewter. Look, it's, it's a turtle. It's a, no, it's a tortoise. I think that this is interesting. Oh, male. Because slow and steady wins the race, and one day I'm going to cry because I'm happy, not because I'm sad. Nice. Thank you for your suggestions and your love and your fun and your jokes and your sparkles, all of you. We have a world premiere video that nobody has seen tomorrow. It's from a band called New Messiah. <gasps> and it is a cover of oh. Hell is for Children. The Pat Benatar, freaking awesome I classic. Have I, heard I that? know, I, I don't, I don't think, because I think we did a, has Kel ever heard this did, before? I, and I, don't, I think it was a maybe. So wow, we're new Messiah. so we have Can't wait. we have a personal connection with Chuck Harden from New Messiah, and he and I and Kel uh, know each other quite well as a result of this channel. I will. It's happening. Will Chuck, whatever will. we're gonna call you, will. will and will, and uh, it's gonna be a video I can't that wait. and I can't wait because. It's supposed to, it has, it has Will in the video. I saw your Facebook post that you opened the boxes. Open the boxes. He opened the CDs because oh, when it's, I was this in Tampa, brand new. the shipment was late. Oh, he, right on. So, so Kel, Kel stayed with yes. Will Thank you, on her way. Thank you, family. Thank yes, you so much. Yes, on the way to the Delane concert in Tampa. I had to go to Victoria for the event, so I couldn't go. But um, yeah, it's very exciting. There's a lot of looks like awesome yes new arrangements for some great songs gold dust woman um yes. italian restaurant from billy joel um like the, i don't want to spoil it but this one we're, we're we are given we are you kelly didn't know this oh. we are given the world premiere 
of Aww. Hell is for Children. And Thank supposedly you. there is the most amazing vocalist from um, Venezuela. Yes. And apparently he just slays this. And I've never heard, obviously, a male sing this song. And mm-hmm. Will, over the years, had uh, bands yes. o- over the years. He's a very accomplished yes. uh, musician, organizer, arranger, creator, creator. artist. And he, he, never, he never could find a uh, lead singer that could nail that song because that is some seriously, <clears> you got to have some chops to sing that song. I mean, she cool. goes, Whew. So we're going to do that tomorrow. We're going to do it as a, the first premiere. Wow, so, we're, so much. we'll set a time where we're going to do this. And uh, so it's gonna it's gonna be released as a premiere, which means it'll be a you'll see the download, but there'll be either a clock or, or something like that where it says, you know, it's gonna be released at hopefully eight o'clock tomorrow night. But we'll we'll we'll, we'll keep okay. you posted. Right. So new Messiah. So exciting. Very cool. Him. He gave me two picks, one for you, one for me, and a bumper sticker, and he was kind enough to give us two shirts. Yes, we're gonna be wearing our shirts tomorrow, and. Um, yeah, on the album, there's like like guys from Exodus so cool. that 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 uh, do yeah. like vocal parts, right? And oh, yeah. I mean, he's got a star-studded cast. Yeah, sure. and and we're yeah. we're 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 first in in line, so we're thank we're you. honored, we're privileged uh, to have that um, to have that opportunity. So thank you. We'll we'll certainly listen and give our true first reaction. Absolutely. And what we'll do <laughs> is we're also going to do the Pat Benatar version, so you can so we can both see. Oh. That's great. Absolutely, and I want to do the live. Great one. idea. Yeah, so I want to do back. the live. Absolutely, absolutely. Ooh, I love it. All right, so I won't give away which one we're going to do first. So check it out. Give me my love. Mmm. Welcome home. Mm. Okay. Okay. And thank all of you. See you guys. Bye. Bye bye.